This one's called, I wish I could help you, but your pride is in the way. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. You know, today's video is for my women only. Man, I'm currently 35 years old. I've been married since I was 23. You know, I enjoy uh, being married. I enjoy being a husband, being a father, being a good man. And a lot of women that are single, you know, doesn't matter what kind of success you got in the world, there is no help for them because they don't receive wisdom. Your pride is in the way. And as long as your pride is in the way, you're going to remain single because you think you are the exception. And man, I'm gonna try to give you a little bit of guidance, a little bit of wisdom, uh, in hopes that, you know, maybe one or two women will benefit off of what I'm saying. I know the masses, the majority, I'm uh, in making this video, I'm going up against everything that the sisterhood uh, has ever taught you in hopes that at least one or two sisters you know, might actually realize what I'm saying according to logic and wisdom and say, you know what? Man, I ain't never looked at it like that. Man, I want you to just go back and look at some of these shows that's currently out here, some of these pop the balloon shows. And I guarantee you one thing you're gonna realize is out of 10 women, all of the women on the show are going after the same man. Meaning, the stuff that they articulate and what they're looking for, they're going after the same man. So if there's 10 women, only one woman is gonna walk away with that man. I want you to think about on this show, and I'm just using this as an example, how many uh, you know, so-called good men, decent men come across that show and women pop that balloon. They say things like, I don't like the pants. I don't like his shoes. You know, I don't like his earrings. You know, I don't like this. And when you see, here's something else. Man, sometimes there is some spiritually busted and physically busted women on these shows. But even with that being said, they still are all competing for the same man. These men will go as far as even telling some of these women, yeah, you're not my type. I'm not looking for you. And these women will still have it in their mind to desire and want this one-off man, you know, out of, let's put it like this. A lot of women reject men because they're not tall enough, okay? But here's the thing. The tall man that you want, he ain't interested in you. So what if you get a tall man that comes along, you know, once you get that as a woman, what do you do? You start nitpicking everything else when supposedly this was your biggest thing. I just want a taller man. What happened to the, you know, what happened to the women that said, okay, man, I define a good man as somebody that I'm spiritually yoked to. Now, come on, listen to me. See, a lot of women will sit up and tell you they're on some spiritual journey. They're, they, they, they love the most high. 
they got a relationship with God. They tell you they Christians and all of this and much, but you can see a lot of them spiritually retarded. A lot of you are spiritually retarded because if the word talks about not lusting after the flesh, a lot of you women are programmed to go completely against the word and only thing you only thing you think about is the flesh. You got a lot of women passing up good men, friend zoning good men because the vibe wasn't right. Listen to me, the vibe wasn't right. You know, I just didn't get them butterflies. You know, he was he you you, you he was tall but he just wasn't tall enough. And you standing up here 5 foot 3. Listen to me, man. The, see, a woman just don't hit the wall out of nowhere. And this wall, it's invisible. Let me break this down to you. It is invisible. But when you hit it, there is a mental breakdown that occurs. And one of the one of the indicators that you're headed towards the wall is your pride. Let me tell you something, man. You ever watch the show My 600 Pound Life? You would look at these women that be on this show and say, man, they fat and they nasty and it's disgusting. But guess what? A lot of them have a man. A lot of them have a man. And that man be loving on they big behind too. Loving on them. See, I want you to think, I've seen, I've seen several instances where women ignorantly follow the trends of what other single women say. This, uh, I want a high value man. This stuff didn't, wasn't always, wasn't always there. You know, if we go back 15 years, this high value stuff wasn't there 10 years. This high value stuff was here. But now women are all saying the same thing. I want a high value man. He got to be six, five, you know, I want him to, uh, you know, pay for everything and allow me to travel around the world. It's like a lot of women got this fairy tale in their head and you are going to miss out on a lot of opportunities of good men and men aren't going to give a dang. You know, you got women out there that friend zone men, good men, men that work hard, got a good work ethic, you know, a, a man that will spiritually cover you, guide you, lead you you know, be a pillar for the family. A man that'll give his all. And you know what you do? You friend zone him because you think you got more options than you have. You know, I didn't, it, listen, listen, listen to some of the stupid stuff that women say. You know, he was too clean cut. I like somebody a little rough and here you are. Three years later, you didn't have this dread head and it impregnated you and you talking about he ain't no good. You got what you wanted, but it didn't work out how you thought it would. Listen to what I'm saying. Man, all of these, all I'm telling you, man, women, the Bible talks about a, je a woman jealous over another woman. See, if you follow women, single women that don't have nobody and they standards and you say, I'm going to just say what everybody else said. And we see this. You are surely going to keep yourself single. You know, what happens is you mess around friend zone a good guy. He remembers that. Here you are later on down the road and all of the all of the men that you entertained that met your prerequisites, you know, carnal prerequisites, they ain't been worth a dang. Here you are, later on down the road, then got one, two, three, four kids by all the men you said you desired that made you feel butterflies that you vibed with and you ain't married to none of them. And one day, you are going to spin the block and you're gonna, you're gonna try to uh, look up and find somebody that you once entertained that was in the friend zone. And you know what? 
That man ain't gonna be single no more. That man is gonna be the found his match, found his wife, and they're gonna be happy. They're gonna have a beautiful family, cohesive. You're gonna, you're gonna check them out on social media, they're gonna have pictures of their family trips, pictures of their family photos, you know? Pictures of him being good to his woman and a woman being good to him, and it's gonna wear you out. It's gonna wear you out with doggone jealousy and envy. I'm telling you, man, I wish I could help a lot more of you out, but your pride is in the way. You get a little bit of, you get a little bit of money, you get a little bit of education. Now here's the thing, listen to me. A lot of you bypass good men because you're riding a high, a high of your success that at the end of the road is not gonna lead to fulfillment. So you say, I got a bachelor's degree, I want a man that make $150,000. Man, statistically, that one man that you want that meets all your other prereqs, he make $100,000, got dreadlocks, wears Jordans, drives an exotic car, you're not gonna get him. Meanwhile, you bypass all the men that you could be building with. Listen to me, that time of building is going to expire. Look at who a lot of these women who, who have chosen to give their womb to. Worthless men that gave them butterflies. Worthless men that they vibed with. Worthless men that was they type. Man, let me tell you something. You might have some girlfriends, some friends, and all of y'all got the same mentality. Y'all flock together, you truly do. If you Go get, let me tell you something, you got a trash man. That man come, he come once a week, consistently. You know he consistent. There goes one right then and there. If you were to get with this trash man, let me tell you what's gonna happen. Your friends is gonna shame you. You know, they gonna be jealous of you. They gonna be envious of you. That's what's gonna happen. And Low key, they gonna be hating because you figured it out. You've made it. Here's another one. What about independence? A independent woman makes a man want to pour into you. Nothing about your independence as a woman makes a man want to pour into you. See, to have somebody and to value somebody in a relationship, in a marriage, you got to be interdependent. A woman leans on the man to fulfill his, his roles biblically. A man leans on a woman to fulfill her role biblically. That's interdependent. Don't be, surpri don't be surprised if you out here pridefully moving in your independence, running all the men off. That is like the biggest Listen to me, that's the biggest like deterrent. It's like repellent for good men. A good man will hear you be prideful talking about your independence and he will be like, Pew! gone, gone. Keep doing it if you want. I can't make nobody do nothing they don't wanna do. But if you want to win, and be covered and have a covering, listen to me, I'm telling you how to do it. What if you make uh, more money than a man? So what? A man has the logic. A man is the covering, a man is the protector. The money you have isn't gonna protect you as a woman. A lot of women learn this the hard way. You need that masculinity to balance you out. Masculinity is not about not just about a physical appearance. No, what kind of spirit does that man have? A lot of y'all, you would say, according to you, you didn't been with all masculine men, but they ain't been worth a damn. Cause you don't know what a, a, a truly masculine man looks like. Your, 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 your mindset and scope of what you want as a woman is based solely upon carnality. You said, I'm talking about, I don't like his shoes. You think that man finna wear these doggone shoes every day? No, people change shoes. 
I'm telling you, man, there's women out there that they know they let go of a good man. There's women out there that's got videos on this. Women that in they pride, you see, it's another thing when you too prideful in marriage as a woman. These women, bro, I know, I know about five guys who got ex-wives who then spun the block on them, trying to work things out because they got too prideful. And guess what? They out there flapping in the wind. Flapping in the wind. I'm telling you, do not follow the advice of the sisterhood of worldly women. Do not follow the advice. Listen to me. If a man come along and this man is truly invested in you and he says, hey, I want you to make a small change. Don't be too prideful to not make that change and miss out on a husband. Listen to what I'm saying. Oftentimes, some of these, a good man is gonna want you to make changes for righteousness sake. And in your pride, you will say, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. I ain't. And, and here you go, and here you are. You like, man, I could have changed that, boy. I could have, I definitely could have done that. Now I'm out here. And once you get past, listen to me, once you get past a certain age, I said it statistically, you know, 20% uh, of women 25 and younger will marry. Man, when you in your 40s, your 30s, man, it goes down to like 6%. Your chances, here you are, you out as a woman, you're getting more accolades on your resume, doing more. And what do you do? You get more prideful in that and it causes you to causes you to doggone fumble. You sitting up thinking because you have been trained by the sisterhood to compete with men due to feminism, you sitting up here talking about if I got a master's degree, he need a master's degree. If I got a house, uh, you know, a million dollar house, he need a million dollar house. And, and here you are. One thing you don't realize is that million dollar house ain't gonna feel so good when that doggone water heater go out, water leaking all over the flow and the logic of a man could be applied. See, it's expensive being an older single woman. It's expensive not having nobody. Not having nobody as a voice of reasoning that's using logic to help safeguard yourself from yourself and some of the poor decisions you will make due to being a weaker vessel. Man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help somebody out, but they doggone pride is in the way. Man, I hope I said something to stimulate thought, man, to get your gears going, to edify you as uh, a woman. And I know that there's there's plenty that will reject the wisdom that I'm coming from, and and, and it, it's got to be that way. Only a remnant will be saved. Closer to y'all, ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Wow.